What's up everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net, and I'm back from vacation, as you already know, and I told you I was going to hit the ground running, and here I am hitting the ground running. Behind me, you can see my next offering. I told you it was going to be a Cadillac. It is a Cadillac. A beautiful one-owner, 2001 Cadillac Eldorado ETC, that's etc., or Eldorado Touring Coupe in Cadillac terminology. This is a very unique car. It's a 29,000 mile example. But as you can see, it's a custom build convertible by Coach Builders. I haven't had many of these. I, the last one I had was last summer. Uh, and that car was a beautiful 35,000 mile example. I don't get these often, and I'll tell you why in the video. Uh, but I'm excited to show you this one. It's an absolutely stunning car that's in gorgeous, gorgeous condition. Straight out of Venice, Florida. Let me show you this car. We're going to do a walk around video. I'm going to show you how the top works, all that good stuff. Tell you all about these cars. And if you have one, Watch this video, I got some inside information for you as well. Let's get into it. And here she is, a beautiful cashmere over shale leather interior, 2001 Cadillac Eldorado ETC hard boot convertible. Uh, this was a conversion done when this car was brand new. You cannot get this conversion done today. Uh, this conversion was done by Coach Builders Limited out of Florida, now called Drop Top Customs. Uh, they don't do these cars anymore. They stopped doing them basically way back when these cars were new. Uh, later after these, they did the four-door DeVilles. They did XTSs. I've even seen CTSs uh, done by them. But these seem to be the most popular. You see these every now and again. The four-doors, like the DHS convertible, I just brought back from Florida when they went on vacation. You don't see those too often. Those are pretty, pretty rare. I mean, these are rare, but the four doors are rare. I've only had a handful of four doors. I still have my dad's 2009 uh, that I bought him uh, some years ago. He doesn't even use it, but it, we still have it. Maybe this year. <laughs> I say that every year. Anyways, this is a beautiful cashmere color. It's kind of like a bronze. Uh, it has a beautiful chocolate brown canvas top. And you know me, I love canvas tops. Uh, whether convertible or, you know, fake ENG style top. I just think the canvas is a very rich looking, especially when it's nice. And this is nice. It's a one owner car. And it shows as a one owner car. This car was sold new at Steve Foley Cadillac in um, Illinois. And that's actually, that was one of the big sellers of these Eldorado convertibles when these things were new. Steve Foley Cadillac. Um... But the person who had it was a snowbird and then actually kept the car down in Venice, Florida uh, pretty much his whole life. Serviced it at Sunset Cadillac in Venice. Uh, unfortunately, ultimately passed away. And his son sold it <laughs> to a Jaguar dealership uh, not too far from his dad's house. So that's how I got the car. The car was sold to a Jaguar dealership. I think it was Jaguar Sarasota, and I bought the car from them. Obviously not something that they would keep on the lot. They really didn't even know what this thing was. Uh, but I'm glad I was able to get the car because it's a beautiful example. Uh, when I got this car in, I did uh, replace a set of wheels. I put these wheels on it. These wheels are the original style ETC 7-spoke uh, wheel. Uh, it had a 17-inch set of Vogue wheels that... Just didn't really look that great on the car. They were dated looking. They were in great shape. I just didn't like them. I think these wheels really, really look great on the car. Uh, so I'm glad I did that. Uh, I, I say upgrade, but the wheels when the car was new was upgraded. This car did have a few aftermarket things, obviously other than the top done uh, on it. Let me switch hands here and get my pointer out. Uh, you can see a beautiful double thin, kind of like a root beer brown pinstripe. You can see on the um, rear bumper side markers on both sides, it says uh, the name of the Coach Builder, Coach Builders Limited. I also noticed, and I've never seen this before, um, also on here, sorry, two things at one time, I guess. Uh, the emblems aren't, aren't chrome plated. They're almost like black chrome plated. So I think that was done aftermarket because those, I believe, would have been chrome plated even on the ETC. Uh, also added is the color match billet grill you can see in the front here with the black chrome plated emblem. 
even the lower grill on the bottom. Florida car, no license plate bracket. Um, the Vogue wheels, I'm sure it had Vogue tires on it was new, but you know, this, this actually I think works. I was debating, I was back and forth whether I was going to put Vogue's on or not. I actually ordered Vogue's, but at the last minute I went with Blackwall tires for two reasons. Um, Vogue's, I just, after looking at it, you know, it's a brown car, brown top. The white walls might clash a little bit. You know, the white one that I sold, you know, really stood tall with the Vogue's. But then when I got the Vogue's, they were actually damaged or uh, maybe they were rejects or something but the white wall was already turning brown and it still had the blue on it so i said you know what let me just put black walls on it because i really think that looks classy it really does especially with the factory wheels i'm going to show you the car I'm going to go around in depth i'll probably ramble a little bit about these but um i'll try to make this one a decently uh, short video um beautiful canvas top i mean in phenomenal phenomenal shape all the stitching on the edges here. You can see where it meets up on the, t on the uh, front header. Uh, these were available in either canvas or vinyl. Um, the last convertible Eldorado that I had was vinyl. My dad's DTS is canvas. You know, there's pros and cons between each. The canvas is almost like a Velcro strip, especially in the springtime. You get little dust particles and stuff from the trees that, that stick to it. Uh, but I think the canvas lasts longer. It looks nicer. It's a more richer looking. The vinyl, you can repair, you can dye, you can color. This you really can't. But you can see all around the stitching on the edge here. The seam here is all in beautiful shape. Uh, usually they start to get a little chewy here in the corners. But very, very nice shape. The seam here is nice and tight. Uh, the bead around the back has a rear glass window. Now this is a hard boot convertible. They did make a soft boot version. The soft boot, soft boot version kind of swept down like and then retained the original, um, the original roof line. Uh, the cool thing about these hard boots though, even though you can see that the roof is kind of cut short here, this hard boot tonneau cover opens up and the convertible top goes in it where the soft boot is all exposed and it just comes like you know, like a regular old convertible with a leather snap boot that you have to snap all the way around. So there's, again, pros and cons between each as well there. Um, I like this one because, I get, I, like I said, it's got the canvas top on it. The hard boot is a nice option, and it does have the little filler boots. I have those in both quarter panels here. So I'm going to put the top down. Uh, I just showed you the top. Uh, I'm going to put the top down, and then I am going to... Walk around the car, point out a few blemishes here and there. Nothing too crazy, but just wanted to give you a little walk around of the car with the top in the upright position. I'm at seven minutes already, so I already know this is going to be a long, long video. Sorry. Not sorry. You can see that roof line. It's pretty sharp. All right, let's get the top down. I should show you before I put the top down. But the inside, uh, really nice finished off headliner on the inside here on the C-pillars. Um, it's a very nice fabric-y, you know, feel to it. It does have this fade line. Every one of them gets that when the top is down. Um, it just, it doesn't come clean, but uh, you can see here the material's in really, really nice shape. Uh, and I'm going to show you on both sides here how, let's jump in where these latches are so if you unlatch unlatch then there's a button down here I see that boot open up rear quarter windows go down and the top starts in motion let me put the camera on the outside so you can see it all right so I'm going to show you how the top works on this car it's pretty simple uh, setup you even have the original owner's manual for the convertible top operation. So we're gonna get in the car and up in both corners are the roof latches. Disengage both roof latches and then there's a button underneath the steering column. You push it and hold it and it cycles that boot to open. Both quarter windows go down automatically 
and then you can see the top just sail right in there. Now one of the things with these hard boots um, that you don't have to do with the soft boot is close those roof latches. Uh, I didn't do it right now because I'm going to show you a quick go back, I'll put the top back up. Just want to cycle through it so you can see the top go up and down. Nice and smooth, doesn't catch anything, doesn't go up crooked. And um, it actually goes up at a pretty decent speed. It comes down. All right, so now I'm going to latch those back down. I'm not going to close the top. I'm just latching those uh, roof latches back down. I'm going to go back down with the top all the way. This is in real time. I haven't sped it up or anything like that. Boot closes down and you're done. Uh, you can put the both front windows down. You can see the quarter windows have gone down and it totally, totally transforms the look of this car. How do you like that action? That's pretty cool, huh? To think that this was all designed after this car was built from Cadillac. Cadillac did not make these cars this was done at an aftermarket converter um and they did a phenomenal job i mean fit and finish yeah good but you know what what you use this car for you go to the the golf club you go to the beach this car probably these things weren't bought as daily drivers at twenty nine thousand miles you can tell now some of these cars at this point have tons of miles you don't usually see them with higher mileage because most of them were used as toys this wasn't a cheap car when this was new. Uh, I have the original window sticker in the glove compartment, plus the MSRP of the car was like a seventeen dollars to $20,000 cost to convert this car into a convertible. So I forget what the MSRP was. Let me take a quick look. Steve Foley Cadillac. This car was $44,000 in 2001. $64,000 converted into a convertible. Um, so, needless to say, you can sense that these cars were loved. Now, like I said, this car is a one-owner car, which is also something you don't see often. Uh, the last convertible that I had last year, I think it was like, I was on the third or fourth owner. I mean, these are like Corvettes. You buy them, you have them for some years, you trade them in, you know, you don't use it often. Unfortunately, when they get passed through hands, and this wasn't the case with the last one that I had. The last one was actually a really, really clean car at 34,000 miles. Um, but usually when you pass through and later in the car's life, obviously the values come down on them. Uh, when that happens, these cars don't get cared for and loved as much as... A one owner car does uh, so this car being a one owner car you know the, the guy who bought this car brand new spent almost seventy thousand dollars on a custom eldorado convertible had it serviced at his local cadillac dealer its whole entire life loved this car cherished this car and you can see that uh, just in the overall condition of it so you don't get that opportunity often to get a one owner convertible like this I love one owner cars. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I love a rare one owner car like this. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna show you a few minor defects here and there. We'll start right here on this quarter panel, I guess. Um, what am I looking for? I guess nothing here. Uh, you can see the paint is in really, really nice shape. Uh, I did, like I said, put these chrome wheels on. The car had aftermarket Vogues, but these are genuine GM wheels. A few little marks here and there. Um, nothing too, too crazy. Uh, they were local wheels that I got off of a Eldorado ETC. Uh, a little bit of a mark there that I think actually would come out. I don't know how I missed that. That's a little bit of a kind of a scuff or a paint transfer. Door moldings, nice shape. A little itty bitty chip there, there. Nothing too crazy. I did have my paintless dent repair service come and just take a few minor imperfections out of this car. Uh, so it's ding free beautiful windshield patriotic american flag included at no extra cost 
A couple little bug marks, a little scuff right there on the edge. Uh, another beautiful chrome wheel. Brand new tires, like I said. So these things are knee deep in rubber. Still got the little tabs on them. Wheels, I get, like I said, a few little minor curb marks right there. Um, but overall, very nice. Uh, clean set of wheels that I was able to source for this car. The lenses are in really nice shape. A couple various bug marks throughout the front bumper. Fog light lenses are in clear shape. These are actually glass headlights, so those will never yellow. That was a great thing. Like I said before, it has an aftermarket billet grill insert below and above. Again, you can see some minor bug marks just kind of collected on the front of the car. Over time, you know, Florida, <laughs> it's tough. You don't get those bugs cleaned off. Uh, they start making marks, but paint on the hood is in beautiful shape. I believe the paint on this car is pretty much all original, except for anything that may have been touched up when these cars were new. I don't know how much paint work Coachville has had to do to these. I don't think a lot. Um, obviously, they painted the rear deck and stuff like that, but you know, overall, the body of this car shows very consistent. It has this beautiful stripe going down the side. Uh, as I said before, Steve Foley Cadillac. Beautiful windshield. Even the dash pad is in really, really nice shape. I'll come up to the front here. Again, just minor, minor curb marks right on the lip edge of the wheels, but all inside the spokes. Got the center caps. Beautiful Falcon tires. A little bit of a chip right there on the fender. Uh, some very, very minor scratching on the edge of the mirror there. Come down the door here. Very, very faint scuff there. Uh, this door edge does have a few little chips right on the door edge. Nothing too crazy. Quarter has a little bitty guy right there. Uh, another beautiful wheel. A little bit of fading on the, the painted insert, or kind of faded. I think this is like a paint that they put on the inside here. A few spots where you can see it's worn there, but overall the wheels are in really nice shape. Wheel wells are in really nice shape as well. And like I said, four brand new tires installed. Uh, up on the deck here, you can see a little scratch there. One here as well. And then on the deck lid, one guy right there. A little scuff right there on the corner of the bumper. Coach Builders Limited. Come around the back here. Face of the bumper is in nice shape. Deck lid. Uh, because this is an ETC, it's got the monotone paint treatment where these bumper moldings and then this license plate pocket is body colored. The ESC coupes, those are chrome. Uh, the Cadillac's signature quad tip dual exhaust. Uh, and I like these Cadillacs as these kind of still have that traditional, uh, you know, long vertical tail light that Cadillac is known for uh, when you're behind it in traffic. Very, very little bit of fin there. Not too, too much. Uh, but she shows really nice. Oh, last one I should point out right there. A little scuff there. Overall, this car, you know, for being a Geez, 20 year old car, 29,000 miles, one owner, really well kept. Uh, it's in phenomenal shape. Really, really phenomenal shape. All right, we're at almost the eight minute mark with the top down. Let's jump onto the inside of this Eldorado. Then we're gonna take it for a spin. All right, diving onto the inside of this custom Cadillac convertible. You can see a beautiful uh, neutral or shale leather interior, uh, which is a it was a very popular color and still I think is today. Uh, for this era Cadillac, that 2000s, even into the 90s, uh, this color was a very uh, popular color you'd see in a lot of cars uh, being offered by Cadillac. It's a beautiful color combination. Uh, on top of the outside trim, like the grill, the pinstripe, uh, you can also see they went with an aftermarket uh, wood grain kit throughout the car. Not really my style, obviously very, 1990s early 2000s correct but or period correct i should say take it or leave it it's on there uh this car was built in michigan at the lansing car craft plant 
Uh, you can see inside the jams here, very, very clean. Bottom of the door panels show really well. It does have a little bit of a wear spot right here on this uh, door gasket. Uh, but overall, real, real clean inside here. And you can see here, this vehicle was altered by Coach Builders Limited March of 2001. And conforms with all government bumper standard and safety BS that comes uh, with our cars and our government. Uh, really nice, even all the, well, it's artificial. It's made to look like stitching, but usually these door panels start to separate here. Uh, this one is in really, really nice shape. Excuse me. Really, really nice shape. This car was gently used. Garaged, well kept because that dash pad, you can see all around, even around the vent. Uh, these things usually start to warp and buckle. Uh, none of that here. Beautiful wood trimmed uh, leather wrapped wheel, which was an option for these cars. I think it was like three or four hundred dollars. Uh, dual heated front seats, dual power heated front seats. Uh, the power seat works perfectly. You have power recliner and then a four-way adjustable lumbar uh, come up the header here you can see these little latches or the the class where they latch uh, the convertible top get back to the steering wheel real quick here you can see you can even see the grain still on this leather wheel uh, real clean there come into the back seat you can see this is a very comfortable car for four it does have the third uh, spot in the back here for a third seat belt. Um, you could put five, but obviously leg room is minimal. You know, for most convertibles, even four passengers is not very common to see. So, you know, this was a full size coupe, personal luxury coupe at the time. Um, when they converted these, they basically made a personal luxury convertible, really. Um, they did shrink the back seats up just a little bit. Uh, as far as the outer bolsters, you can see is cut down a little bit, but it does still retain the full center console with fold out uh, cup holder there. It does have baby seat anchors for you family, family fellas. Um, I do have in the trunk uh, two little jelly bean boots that clip into this here and slide into this to kind of complete that look. I'll pop those on real quick uh, before I finish the video. But you can see leather in this car is in real nice shape. It does show some creasing um, and some leather wear, especially on this rear bolster here, but nothing too, too crazy now. Again, these cars weren't made to be convertibles, so the leather that Cadillac put in these cars um, you know, wasn't, wasn't designed to withstand the heat or the sun. And again, these cars, if you use them a lot and you leave the, the, the roof down, the leather will get trashed in these cars. So, um, you know, word to the wise is to use the convertible when you're using it. Don't leave it out. Don't leave the sun or the top down. If you are going to use the convertible a lot, I know it's a convertible. It's made to be used as a convertible. You know, just keep the leather conditioned so it stays nice and soft. I mean, you can see up here on the top of this rear uh, seat really nice soft not dried out you know usually uh, dried out leather this all these seams would start pulling and, and stretching uh, but in this case not the case open up the passenger side here inside the jam again nice and clean beautiful door panel it says El Dorado right there I like that nice and subtle uh, and again, the dash pad on this car is in phenomenal, phenomenal shape. The wood trim on the dash, no cracks or anything like that. Passenger seat here shows really nice. Again, nice and soft. You know, normal creasing and leather wear, I would say, for the car. Carpeting, phenomenal shape dual power seats like i said both work and they are heated flip that back there you can see the three seat belts leather is real clean back here as well carpeting again just a really well kept convertible and again when these cars age as they get passed from owner to owner to owner usually they don't get kept up like this 
um, and that's one of the big benefits here of a one owner car. Um, I remember the first one that I had, the car had, I want to say 70,000 miles. The seats were destroyed, totally ripped up. Pop that trunk there. Totally ripped up. Um, the car just wasn't loved. And you could tell, as it got to be a cheaper, cheaper car, it got less and less love. And that catches up real quick to these cars. Inside the trunk here, I'm going to show you what I got. Um, I do have all four original floor mats. The two rear ones here and the two front ones are stacked one on top of the other. Uh, these here are the, what I call, jelly bean boots uh, for these inserts. I mean, I guess, yeah, it does look better finished off. I think what happens is you kind of squeeze it in there, kind of sink it in there, and then this guy clips in there. You know, so it, it does look better. I don't know. I would just put the top down and drive it. Um, you know, it looks better than having this open exposed hole, but both of those come uh, with the car, which is another rare find. Uh, the convertible top boots on these you can't get. Um, I do have another set of sun visors. Um, I'll tell you why I have those. Uh, I had to get at the salvage yard these little clips here because um, these clips are common to break on these. Uh, and what happens again with these cars is the sun beating down kind of fades this. These ones aren't too, too bad. Um, you can still see a little bit of sheen left there. But they are getting a little faded. I said, you know what, let me grab the sun visors too. Uh, in the event that you ever wanted to swap them with sun visors that have never been, you know, sunned on, we'll say. You can see this dust discoloration there. You can actually see right there, kind of the line. So it does get a little bit of fade and sometimes you start to tear up. So I included those with the car if you ever wanted to swap those out. Uh, before we take it for a spin, let me pop the hood here show you this incredible North Star V8 how clean it is absolutely gorgeous under here super super clean uh, North Star when I say clean I mean well kept and it shows you know the block there's no oil buildup or anything like that and this car, this engine bay was clean like this not like dressed and clean like this when I got it but the engine itself was clean it wasn't a oily engine bay um, this is a real dry North Star um, some of these North Stars start to leak oil I had this car in the lift I'm going to include the clip at the end of this video of this car on the lift showing you how clean it is and how dry it is uh, but real nice shape some of the paint coming off the block here kind of common to see that AC Delco battery uh, this car was serviced like I said at Sunset Cadillac its entire life uh, even has the under hood light and that's in working condition so let's toss the plate on it and we're going to take this baby down the road for a spin and show you what convertible cadillac life is all about all right before we take it for a spin i do like to show you what i have for keys and books i have one set of original keys here with a working fob uh, these are the old style uh, keys this one is a chip key uh, for the vat system here i want to start it up I know the cluster looks like it's going crazy, but honestly, in front of me, it's not. 29,464 miles. <coughs> Excuse me. It is springtime on this car. What I have for paperwork, which is some really cool stuff, um, is the original pre-delivery inspection sheet. Um, I have, I don't know really what this was, um, paperwork saying of, you know, who took delivery of this car, I guess. Uh, this is the original window sticker here. You can see 2001 Eldorado Etc. Edition. Cashmere neutral shale leather. Uh, sold new at Steve Foley, or at least sold to Steve Foley. $44,000 in uh, almost $45,000. Uh, base price was $43,600. Wood steering wheel, $400. Garage door opener. Yep, it's got one of those. $107. Cast 7 in uh, seven spoke alloy wheels you can see they have those are the original wheels that came in the car um, original owner's manual books notepad uh, even the original Cadillac pen which I think is kind of cool that it comes with 
Uh, this is a Frank Sinatra CD that was in the car, stays with the car. Quick disconnect for the um, you know five sixteenths or eight millimeter side bolt terminal for the battery. Plantation Golf Club pencil. Your OnStar books here included, and this is I think the coolest thing, and I've never even seen one of these before. So again, it shows how well this car was loved. This is the original owner's manual and care instructions for the hard boot convertible. Uh, this car was number 2020201. Um, I think that's kind of cool. You don't see these at all. Um, which is going to relay me into my next segment about this car. Uh, a lot of people might be concerned. Let's put it in gear here. Uh, with a car like this, that it's a custom car, can't find parts for this car. Uh, and I referenced this in my last video as well, uh, that I'm quite fortunate. I have a friend up here who's also a dealer, and that friend of mine is George Phillips at Elite Motor Cars. He's in Peabody, Massachusetts. He is the official one and only distributor uh, for parts for these cars. So if you have one of these, uh, El Dorado, either a soft boot or a hard boot, uh, and you need a convertible top, George is the only one that can sell you that top. Uh, unless you have it custom made, but George can get it right from the manufacturer. Uh, he has purchased all the rights from Coach Builders because Coach Builders doesn't want to service these cars anymore. Uh, they're just too old for them. Uh, so George has all the proprietary rights for the convertible top. So if you need a top, he can order you a brand new top. Uh, he can get you rear quarter window mo motors. He's got Coach Builders emblems. Uh, Coach Builders Limited emblems. Uh, he even sells copies of those uh, owner's manuals. You can buy a copy if your car doesn't come with one. Just give him a call. He's super easy to deal with. I buy these cars with confidence because I know how close he is. He actually collects these cars. He's got dozens of them. Uh, so to have someone that close and to know that I can get parts for these, window uh, gaskets, weather stripping, uh, the convertible tops, all that stuff is easily available through George. Check him out on YouTube, George at Elite Motor Cars. He's in Peabody, Massachusetts. Phone number for him is 978 590 0014. If you have any questions, give him a call. Now, he does not convert these cars, so don't call him and ask him to convert one for you because he, I, nobody, even Coach Builders, doesn't do these cars anymore. Uh, but he does sell all the tops. If you call coach builders to buy a top for this car, they will tell you to call George because George is the only one who can get your top for these. So give him a call if you have any questions. If you have one and you have any questions about yours, he's very good at helping over the phone, troubleshooting. Uh, he even has people who ship cars to him to service them to replace the rear quarter window motors, which I can tell you because I did them on this car is not a fun job. Uh, it's not as easy as it sounds. Uh, I did both quarter window motors. It's a very common issue. Just over time, the motors get tired and the windows have a hard time going up and down. But I did both of them on this car, uh, so those go up and down flawlessly. Uh, as far as other service work that I've done to the car, like I said, four new tires, alignment, did a fog light bulb, a reverse light bulb, a uh, full synthetic Mobile One oil change. Um, the brakes on the car are like new. Uh, this car was really well cared for, really well loved. It really didn't need a whole ton of work. It's got new rear r not shocks in the back, the air ride shocks. It's got a new r not pump in the back. It's got new front CV axles, common for the boots to tear on these cars. Uh, so someone, you know, really loved this car, took great care of it, and it shows. And, and again, you don't see that often with a 20-year-old um, handmade or hand-built convertible, you know, usually they just start to diminish in condition as the values go down. But a real nice one like this will hold its value. It's a great car. It's a great car to jump in, cruise. I mean, these North Stars are power plants. They are power plants. There's tons of um, these cars still out on the road because these are so loved. Uh, you really, this is kind of the end of the era for Cadillac, I think. In my opinion. And here's the bottom side of the 2000 Cadillac Eldorado. You'll see a lifelong uh, Florida car indeed. I don't know what this is. It's kind of dusty, maybe 
road. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not dry. And dirt, something, mud, I guess. Uh, anyways, real clean, no rust or corrosion on any of the parts under here. Uh, it does have new rear r not shocks in the back, air shocks, uh, which is nice to see. Both sides there, you can see it has the original GM mufflers in great shape. Uh, looks like it might even be a replacement r not air pump fuel tank and then here is some of the reinforcements that coach builders did you can see the uh, steel solid steel that they welded to the bottom of these cars pull that twig out of there uh, even down on the pinch well here uh, all reinforced both sides Very, very clean. Again, Florida car its whole life, born and raised. Uh, engine, cradle, nice and clean. Uh, looks like it has new front axles on both sides as well. This one still has a tag on it. Brakes are really nice all the way around. Looks like those were recently done. You can tell as a one owner car, somebody loved this car. The other thing that's notable on this car is how dry this oil pan is. Transmission pan, there's absolutely no uh, even dampness. We just did a oil change to it. She's ready to go. Uh, but North Stars that don't leak oil, that's usually not a common sight. Looking good. There she is. 2001 Cadillac Eldorado coach build convertible. So there you have it, folks. 2001 Cadillac Eldorado, etc. Convertible, ETC, that's a touring coupe. 29,000 mile car, beautiful cashmere with a brown canvas top. Phenomenal, phenomenal condition. One owner, Florida car. Now I will say, on Carfax, it shows as a two owner car because when the son inherited this car, he titled it in his name, but then immediately traded it in. It was within the same family. Just want to put that disclosure in there. Uh, service at Sunset Cadillac, ready to go, turnkey car. Going to be offering this car at $20,995. If you have any questions, give me a call, 978-930-1004. Be sure to check me out on Instagram, Specialty Motor Cars NH, and on Facebook, Specialty Motor Cars, uh, here in Pelham, New Hampshire. And don't let distance stop you from getting a dream car like this dropped off right to your front door because I can send this car anywhere. I love to send it right into your garage. You have a nice turnkey summertime cruiser to enjoy that I can assure you nobody else around has because these are very unique cars. 978-930-1004. Let me know what you think down in the comments of this cool Eldorado Touring Coupe Convertible. We'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks for watching.